Howdy folks, my name is Lanzo90 and welcome back to my tutorial series for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead version point F. In the last episode we talked about our starting points and our scenarios. Now we're going to talk about professions. So let me select evacuee here. We're just going to do the basic start for the purposes of the tutorial. Profession. We're not going to go through every single one of these because I'll be here forever. So all professions are is they're, they're your starting loadout, basically. You'll be able to see over here what gear these characters come with. This particular music track is a little loud. It's a little loud, but it's the famous one. It's the one that's in the game Vanish that uh, was popularized by Markiplier. Anyway, so it'll show you what you're wearing so you can see how good your equipment is. I mean, a character that starts with a bag of some sort, like a backpack or something is going to be pretty good. Anything leather, like you see leather jackets and leather pants and stuff, those are going to be more durable types of clothing. Inventory shows you a little stuff you come come with. Uh, a knife is incredibly useful at the start of the game. Well, it's always useful. You always need a knife on you in this game. But a knife lets you do most of the crafting stuff. Matchbook will let you light fire, cell phone. We'll just give you the time of day, basically, is the only real use of the cell phone. And you get a plastic bottle of clean water. There should be tons of these in the evac shelters, though. So that's not terribly critical, but it is nice to have. So the survivor's at the top, and it costs zero points. But then there's going to be quite a few here that are worse than starting normal. Like you can see, like, the heroin addicts don't start with very many clothes at all. And I think you also, yeah, you start with a Mason Metaphine withdrawal. You can get over the withdrawal, and then you'll get your... You'll have uh, extra points to work with. But obviously, that's a pain to deal with. Your character's going to be sick. And I don't know how, how long exactly it takes for it to go away. So I usually don't do any of these. Because the survivor is pretty good on their own. And then as you go down, you'll find some that are zero cost. So these are the ones that they think are roughly the same as the base start. Though, honestly, most of these seem like they might be worse than the base start, to be honest with you. Some of them do have skills, though. So you'll start seeing skills pop up. So, like, this rabbi has social and health care. Social's not too useful. It's just for talking to NPCs, but health care is nice. That's zero points, so you can consider it. You can consider it. And then as you keep going on, then they start costing points. But then you'll see, well, they'll have some pretty good skills, like four vehicle skill and a mechanic skill. And then, like, a multi-tool, which is much better than just a knife. This guy even starts with a motorcycle, even. That's pretty good, honestly. And so you just have to weigh back and forth. It's like, is this worth the point cost to get these? Well, I can tell you that two points in a skill is one cost one point. And then every point after that is one point until a certain point. Let's not worry about that. So this is one, two three points. This is three points of the vehicle skill. This is technically half a point of a mechanic skill because we can't assign one point. We can only assign the first point opens up two points is basically how it works. So three points in there. This actually balances out. This character is giving us four vehicle points and he costs or he takes he costs three he gives us three points in the vehicle skill, and he costs three points, right? And he also has leather gear on. He has a nice tool. He has a knife. He's pretty dang good. Thing is, vehicles specifically is not... Well, actually, it depends. They keep changing what the skills are. I'm assuming that vehicles is driving, because that's what it used to be. And I'm assuming that mechanics is how you repair vehicles, because that's how it used to work. They could have mixed and matched now, though. I honestly don't know. We'll find out later. But the driving skill is absolutely useless. So assuming this is the driving skill, this is not a worthwhile character. But if that was four points in mechanics, hoo -hoo, baby. I picked this character in a heartbeat, because four mechanical skill is unbelievably good. And yeah, you could pick some of these for like... Uh, theming too like if you pick like a martial artist you can actually select what kind of martial arts skill you have and then uh you can fight with melee attacks which is pretty cool 
And yeah, as you get further down here, you actually get some absolutely crazy stuff, like being like bionic athletes or bionic firefighters, riflemen, really good combat skills and military gear and stuff. I feel like half the fun of this game is building up to having good gear. So I always like to start with something simple like a survivor. And that's what we're going to do for the purpose of the tutorial. Stats. All right. <clears throat> These are pretty self-explanatory. You've been seen, you've seen stats in games before, right? <laughs> so strength determines your HP. It determines your carry weight, and it care, and determines your bash damage. I'd say the most important thing about this is actually just the carry weight. Like I don't care about too much other about that. Ninety HP that seems fine. I think this is a per body part basis, or it might just be. It might just be the torso. I'm not sure exactly. It doesn't matter too much. Well, actually, bash damage going up is pretty worthwhile, too. Dexterity gives you melee to hit bonus, which is your chance to hit. Uh, throwing, it makes you better at throwing if dexterity is higher. Don't care about that too much. But it also reduces your range penalty the higher this is. Unfortunately, it has to be really high before it's not a penalty, which is weird. And also enhances... Many actions which require finesse. I don't know exactly what that means. I'm guessing like tailoring maybe gets a benefit from dexterity. But you know that we have the mod installed that makes it so we're faster if we have high dexterity. So dexterity would be important for us. Intelligence is absolutely critical. Uh, first of all, it determines how long it takes for you to read something. And obviously longer than 100% is a pretty bad idea. Skill Rust we know is off, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Oh, my game is like not. There it goes. Don't have to worry about Skill Rust. Crafting bonus, I think it increases our crafting speed. As you can see, though, it's uh, not going up by very much, so I wouldn't say that's too useful. The most important thing, though, is installing Bionics. And it doesn't say here, but also reading books. Books have a certain threshold of intelligence you have to have before you can read them. There's some advanced books that'll say that you need require intelligence of 14 to read them. Well, you want to be able to read them because they have recipes and stuff that you need in them. Or they can increase your skills, but you know, also increase your stats. <laughs> so, intelligence is way more important than it's portrayed as here. And in installing Bionics, I think Bionics all, ha all have like a set number of how high your intelligence has to be in order to insert them. Perception. It makes you a little bit good at shooting, but the main thing is it's used for detecting traps. Also, other things of interest, I don't know what it means by that, but it's mainly to make your aiming better, and it's made for finding traps. If you leave this at eight, you're going to step on a mine and die. That's all there is to it. You're just going to step on a mine. You don't have any idea that the mine's there. You're going to step on it, and you're going to die. It happens all the time. Always bring it to ten. You have to. Or you'll lose. You'll step on a mine and die. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. All right. And I'm going to bring Dexterity Intelligence to 12. As you can see, I have two points left. Remember, I gave myself six extra points. And That's how hard this game is. It doesn't even give you points. <laughs> it doesn't even give you points to bring your stats up to 10 at base difficulty. It's insane. Of course, you can pick... Professions that suck, you can pick scenarios that suck, you can get extra points. Oh, you know what? We made a mistake. We have to go back, Charlie. So, what we're going to do, we're going to press escape and go to the main menu. I apologize for getting this. We are going to go to world. We are, oops. I am going to delete that world. <laughs> we're going to go to settings. Options might not have had to delete the world, but I delete the world anyway, because why not? I messed up in this debug menu. Remember, I gave myself six extra points here, and I gave myself uh, five extra points there, but these aren't part points we can spend. This is just how much of the map we can see at the start. We want maximum trait points to be at like 30, because you can pick negative and positive traits. We want to be able to pick a bunch of negative traits that don't hurt us very bad so we can grab positive traits that help us a lot. I forgot to do that. So let's crank that up to the free and 30. This doesn't give us points. This allows us to take more points. So this isn't 
This isn't hardcore cheating. This is light cheating. <laughs> let's put it that way. All right, let's generate a new world again. Speed run mode. We know we want no freeze. We know we want faster skills and speedy decks. Landsberg sounds fine. Friggin' send it. You know what? I didn't even tell you how to get rid of this. Well, that time we didn't get a uh, error on oral generation. So, single pool, evacuee, survivor, 10, 12, 12, 10. You can see we still have two points. It did not give us more points. Traits. <laughs> Ooh, baby, we have to read through all of these. These aren't like professions where I can't not read these. We have to explain what all these mean. We have to explain how good they are. And we'll do that in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, remember the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments. Let me know of any questions you have. I know this one was a little bit more rough around the edges, but I apologize. But I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, have a good day.